just have a quick look at the analysis see where the change took place okay just developed through attacked all pretty simple uh, we had a massive advantage somewhere but uh, okay didn't quite see that so we went challenging the king wow it's saying we're out and out winning oh do you know what I've, I've missed the pawn didn't I I lay any more I did I missed the pawn ah but it's not always a good thing that pawn thing because he just basically because if we take then they just bring the bishop here so it's not always a good thing but it's saying we're winning Ooh, look at that <laughs> oh that would have been beautiful oh crikey sake how i missed that opportunity i tell you doing evaluation after your games is a killer oh that was so simple straightforward all this work we went through now Okay, so see if there was any major dates. We did a lot of um, shuffling here. Yeah, now we're losing now. Captured, and that was a big loss there. Wow, that was a loss in a few moves, wasn't it? What was it taking this not taking this bishop? You taking the bishop? Because then if we take, then he takes. But yeah, my word, we got lucky there, didn't we? So missed opportunities from our side, missed opportunity from the opponent's side. Oh, look at that massive, oh dear, massive drops. Oh, it's the ugliest game ever. I'm looking for an x-ray through. I was looking for a little cheapy, you know, going, taking the pawn here with a check and then winning his queen. Obviously they saw that pawn grabbing now looking for the exchange slightest of advantages was worried about this pawn here but he didn't target that so it's looking okay for us ish it's nothing major we're in advantage just have to find the correct position look at all these moves we we could have won this game right at the very beginning oh man it's a three minute game though too fast for me so it's a draw at the moment and I did think it was a draw but then I thought mm, I think there might be a way of my king squeezing through if the opponent doesn't play it correctly and they push so we pushed up so at this point that was the that was the savior for us them doing that pawn move I don't think they needed to do that pawn move but it does look good you know it's blocking the king they probably had other options of maybe just bringing the pawn down or something like that keeping it as a draw because my king can't get up there yep so that was good for us so now we're targeting but it, it doesn't like that pawn move but I thought I want to get rid of this pawn see if I can squeeze the king in here somehow so we're blocked off now we've blocked all this area and we're on white squares so his dark square bishop can't challenge us and he's trying to block this pawn off here so we put a check on trying to get the king away from this pawn making space now for our king to come here so king can come through now the bishop's got to focus on protecting this pawn so now we can make our way through the big bishop can no longer come and attack and there was the issue with this pawn but we could come back with the king and grab and at that point there that's when the opponent resigned so yeah that was a pretty meaty game good job we did the evaluation because as always um if there's an advantages in games um, i do like to look back on them because i know i don't play perfect chess in any way shape or form i am practicing the answer process but i'm not a computer but it's nice to see what the computer thinks and boy we've got a shocker in this one Three minute game.
Oop, looks like they've left the game. That was pretty intense. Okay, clean picture on that. 